All right, Violet, we're gonna make some pizza. Are you ready? Okay, awesome. Um, so this this is the uh, dough after we've let it rest. So it's been just about exactly an hour since Violet and I shaped these. And you can see that they, they've sagged out a little bit, which is good. They've also grown a little bit in size, which may be a little less perceptible, but they have, they have grown a little bit in size. And these are ready to be made into pizza. So they, if you touch them, uh, well, that, when my finger sticks to it, I'll put a little flour on it. If you touch it, you can see it springs back, but not all the way. Like my fingerprint is still there. That's an indication that like it's at a nice spot. It's ready to be touched and handled. If it was like totally elastic and sprung all the way back, it would give it a little more time. Um, we've got the oven preheated at 425. If you can do this like 10 minutes before you put the pizzas in there, that's good because the more heat that's in that oven, the better the pizza will cook. Um, we have set this all up to work really well at 425, which we think most people's ovens can handle. But uh, if you have an oven that can go hotter, that's fine. Um, there's no reason you shouldn't. And if you have another way to make pizza you love, this dough should stand up really, really well to lots of different methods. So if you have a pizza stone you like to use or something like that, that should work great too. Um, we're gonna show you with a pizza pan um, like this. Um, all right, so let's get started here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show Violet and then I'm gonna have you do one, okay, Violet? So first of all, I'm gonna put a little bit of flour down and, and you want a clean surface to work on. This could be a cutting board or something. Um, we happen to have this like big butcher block counter, which is really nice for this because the flower likes that wood surface. But if you have um, marble counters or you know some laminate, that should work fine as well. Um, so what I'm doing right now is just getting a little bit of flour on the dough. And you can see the way I'm handling it, I have sort of soft but confident fingers. So that's the name of the game here. Because if you go really slowly, you'll start sticking more to the dough and stuff. And if you are really rough, you're gonna tear things up. So you wanna sort of be gentle but confident. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fingertips like this to press down. And what I'm doing when I do that, you can see a bubble right there. I'm allowing, I'm, I'm displacing some dough and using that to stretch it out. And it's allowing the dough to sort of start stretching out without fighting me. It's also allowing the bubbles to collect and stay in place so that we have like nice, a nice sh shape to the dough and we have like a nice crumb once it's built. The crumb is what we call like the inside, uh, inside of it. So you can see I'm just pressing it with my fingers a little bit like that. And I'm, I'm not pressing on the edge where I'm gonna build the crust later. I'm gonna flip it over and just do a little bit more of this, okay? Um, so that's the first step is just using your fingers to press it down a little bit. And you can see it's grown a little bit in size, but it's not as big as we want it to be. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to define my crust. And so if you like a really big crust, you, you would hold back a little more. Um, this is about the size I like it, um, but you can choose how big you want that crust to be. This will be bigger than it looks there. It's gonna expand, but you'll see when I cook my pizza, like what this size is. And you can experiment a little bit with what you like. So I'm just going around with my fingers, making a nice hard line, and I don't want to press through it. I, I'm not trying to rip the dough, but I'm just pressing a nice hard line there between the center of the dough and where I want the crust. And like I said, you can make a thinner crust, you know, like less crust or more crust, depending on how you do this. So I've got a nice circle there where I've pressed in with my fingers, and that's sort of my crust line. The dough's thicker here, and it's thinner right there. And now I'm just gonna pick it up. So I did that sort of quickly, but I'm in gentle fingers, but with confidence, I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna use the back side of my hand to support it. And it's it's pretty it's pretty delicate in some ways right now. Like it has a nice stretch to it, but if I put my if I grab it with my fingers, they might go right through it. So that's why I'm 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 using sort of broader, more gentle surfaces. And so I'm I'm just flipping this gently and I'm, I'm running my fingers. It's mostly expanding with its own weight right now. I'm not even doing much. I'm mostly just sort of letting it, letting it um, expand with its own weight. And you can see now it's grown a lot. So this is pretty good. I want to make it just a little bit bigger. Um, and I guess this is like what people say, hand stretched dough. But um, this is when we, if we were getting fancy, we would start spinning it in the air. But usually when I do that, it hits something above my head and gets stuck. Right, Ryan? Okay, so that's a really nice size. That's like exactly what I'm aiming for. Uh, it's got a nice round shape to it. 
Um, there's little bubbles there, which are good. Those are all gonna, if you don't like that bubbles in your pizza, you can go ahead and pop those right now. But I like that. I like when the pizza crust is bubbling up. Um, this should be a really beautiful pizza. 